All right, <clears throat> I'm live. I'm gonna share this real quick. Uh, yeah. Let's see if we can get some people on. I'm gonna share it. Go on my channel. There we go. Share. We'll see if some people will jump on here and then we'll start chatting. What's up, BTD? How are you doing? Alright, I'm going to share it to my timeline and my story. Y'all ever heard of, y'all heard of the story right on Facebook? Well, if you have BTD, you don't have Facebook, do you? <laughs> I'm going to share it to my, that's good. What's up, Zach Garrett? I'm going to share it to my Facebook page of my YouTube channel. Um, so if you're on Facebook, go check out, uh, my Facebook page. It's my Facebook YouTube page. Alright, I shared it some. And it's pouring down rain here. There we go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was a good catch. <laughs> I'm sharing it on my Madre's phone. This is kind of tilted. Is the screen tilted for y'all, or does it just look that way for me? Do I look like I'm lopsided, or is something wrong with it? I have my trifold. Let's try it. Is that better? Oh, it's because that. Okay. I hope I don't break this trifold. Alright, well, the trifold. The tripod. Alright, we got four people on. Oh, it's tilting now. It's duct tape, guys. I'm going to have to get a new one. I'm going to have to, I'm lopsided right. Oh man, it's lopsided. Is that better? What's up Larry Harvey? Is that better guys? Is it not lopsided? Yeah, I think it's still tilting. I think it's still tilting to the right. Yeah, I can see it faintly moving to the right. All right, I propped it against that. All right, is that better, guys? All right, there we go. Yeah, my I got a I need to get a new tripod because this one I've had for I don't know how many years. I've been doing YouTube for three years, so I've probably had it about two and a half. <laughs> it, I've had that for a while, and now it's duct taped. I broke it. Um, if you haven't seen the video, go watch the uh, where I'm at the. It was Shelby, not Shelby Fair. It was at a fair. And, uh, what's up, Karen? Um, I was at a fair, and, uh, I, it broke. So I had to scrunchie it up. And then, uh, now it's duct taped, so. Oh, now it's tilting this? It's tilting backwards. Oh, man. Guys, we're gonna have a tilted knot. It's like a Titanic. It tilts this way and that way. It's crazy, man. If you see this, I was wanting to have... In, it in the video, but with my phone acting, I mean my iPod acting up. Yeah. I hope it's good now, but I got this man cave. It says, the cave runs on Eagles power, my turf, my team. Eagles fans only, others not allowed. It has the Eagles helmet up there. Eagles, I got that for Christmas. That's pretty awesome. I like it. I better not jar the floor or it'll tilt even more. Oh, it is tilting. Man, we're going to have to do something about this. You see my hand. That, that ain't right. T tilts again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sling it. No, I'm gonna. Sl <laughs> oh man, Hulk smash it. Yeah, I gotta get a new tripod. I got me a. Well, I have to show it. It's in there, but it's a gimbal, but not a gimbal gimbal. But it's like one to hold my phone and my GoPro. And uh, I mentioned it in the video yesterday. I know. Yeah, it was yesterday's video. I shared it to Facebook today is what confused me. Huh. What's up, everybody? Everybody getting on? Speaking of GoPro, I got this Wiser Electron. It's a skeleton case that don't have, that has a room to put your mic in. And then I got me a Purple Panda lapel mic. So I'm going to test it out on some videos. It's a mic, it's a lapel microphone. I got this for Christmas. Pretty awesome. I think that's the whole cord. 
we'll have to figure it out. I have to do a review on it, but there it is. It says purple panda, so I'm gonna have to figure this one out and then put it, use it for some videos. It's got all kinds of cords in here, so uh, I don't want to look stupid on camera. Huh. But I've used a microphone before. I had one, but it was kind of just a plug and stuff. But we'll see what this one is. It worked well until I plugged it in one time for an iPod, and it, I was doing a claw video, and I won on the an e-claw, and it was plugged in, and it didn't capture anything. So, but yeah, that's pretty cool. <clears throat> did y'all see my title? Did any of y'all, like, what did y'all think about my title of this video? Hmm. I, I have a bunch of this in numbing cream in my mouth because for the past two days I've had this terrible pain in my right tooth. Yeah. Yeah, I've had this terrible pain in my right, all that. I don't know why. It's not like I, I don't eat much, like, I don't eat sweet stuff. Maybe it's because Christmas time rolled around, tooth starts hurting. Hmm. Yeah, I, mean, I got some of this loaded. I feel like Murr from Impractical <laughs> Jokers. Huh. Oh, yeah. Well, thank, thank all y'all. Um, yeah, I feel like Murr from Impractical Jokers where he, uh, he was all on the anesthetic, 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 anesthetic. Okay, this, mm. yeah, too much sweets. I ain't ate, I ain't ate much sweets is the thing. It's weird. But, uh, anesthe, anesthesiologist. He, whatever. He was on that numbing stuff and he was like, they were getting him to say words and eat and he was drooling and like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> So uh, it's wore off. Not it's not that bad. It's like Orgel last like I don't know how long. I loaded a bunch in there. I don't know how much. I don't know how much you're supposed to put on there, but I put a lot in there. But it still didn't help. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how much I put in there, but I I put it out. I put a lot in there. I didn't get my wisdom teeth took out. Now insurance like when the insurance could pay for it, but I don't. I don't think it's the wisdom teeth, but I've had issues with it before, but then it stopped because I got an antibiotic and I thought it was just because it had, I don't know, I, feel, I thought it got rid of it, but now all of a sudden it's hurting a little bit, so, and sometimes it'll hurt because they, they thought it was grindage, but I, that's why they put me on like heartburn medicine, yeah, I know he is, ain't he, Amber, um, but they put me on like the, well, I don't even know what it's called, whatever the cable guy um, supports. Prilosec OT, it's like the off brand of that. Huh. But uh, I I used, I got I took that because I had a lot of uh, it started reconnecting. It might have went taters, guys. I threw on the data to see if it'll help, but it's raining here, so that might be why. Hope it didn't kick nobody off. But I put on data and, and Wi Fi and data's on, so. Maybe it'll use the Wi-Fi when it's working and then the mobile data when it's not. But it's raining here, so that might have some effect to it. And I'm in this room. So, yeah, it's raining. <clears throat> but, yeah. What was y'all's Christmas? Big knee. So, uh, Christmas, what did y'all do for Christmas? That's, uh, I was going to name it Traditions, but I put that in the description. So, what did y'all, like, traditions-wise do? What is uh what does all y'all do for traditions for Christmas? And then I'll let y'all know mine. I got this Mickey hat on. You can't see Mickey because he's in the back. Hate food and more food. I hear you. Yeah, good food. We'll have uh our meet up together Saturday with the uh, rest of the family. We had it uh on Christmas with us together, and then Saturday we'll have more of us together since we had a ba baby come in the family. What's up, Moose Tube? How are you? What's up, moose tube? Oh. The F's. Family fun food. Yep. Huh. So every Christmas we do... That's good. Um, every Christmas we do a bingo. Um, you know the game, bingo. Um, that's good, Chris. Um, we did uh, we did bingo, and we would have... We have the same old cards, and uh, we use where you slide them over. And... Uh, we have a bunch of presents in the middle, and, <laughs> and we have a 
you're starting new traditions with the Hickman family next year. <laughs> but uh, we put a bunch of gifts, and some of them's gag gifts, and some of them's like money, and some of it's food, and some of it's useful gifts, some of it's from the Dollar Tree, and some of it's gag. But uh, we put them all in the middle, and then we play for it. And uh, we'll play bingo, and the winner will get to pick a prize, and it could be. And then we'll play for, like, the big prize. And then sometimes it'll be a gag. And I, I think one year, my one of my uncles got some tutu thing as a gag. And then the other year, my other uncle got some curlers for his hair. Hmm. And then, uh, yeah, probably BTD. Huh. Some t-shirts he's not telling us about, probably. Huh. Um, but, um, and then, uh, we play for that in bingo, and then sometimes we'll play for a big gift. Like, I think one year a drone was put up there, I don't know, an MP3 was put in the big pile one year, when it was, MP3s were big. <laughs> but that's what we do for Christmas. Huh. I got this cross necklace for Christmas, too. Pretty awesome. I, I like the way my hat is sitting right now where I would show you Mickey. He's on the behind right here. Mickey's on my behind. It's a little weird. Huh. Yeah, thank you, Chris. But yeah. We I, I tried to do a little different kind of tradition though, because we usually do I tried to differ it up a little bit. So it was different this year, a little bit. <laughs> but yeah. I'd show you those big pot figures in there I got they were like cheaper at Walgreens. Still not cheap cheap, but they were cheaper. And then, uh, then they are online, but they're big pops, like, has Spider-Man in the car, and then a Spider-Man turning into the Hulk. They're pretty nice pop figures, if you're into pops and stuff like that. I was gonna do the top Christmas music, um, for this live stream, but I looked at all the songs, and I can't, I can't decide on a firm top list of, like, of what I like. Because there's so many Christmas songs, and even with albums... I don't know, like, which ones exactly I would put. How many pop figures do I have? Well, Chris, I would have a... If I was being honest, I would have a whole bunch. Because, like, if I had more space... But I'm trying to cut myself down from getting them because they sit and... They're awesome looking, but they also collect dust and... And there's no space for them. But, uh... There's a bunch I still would love to get... Because I love pop figures, they're cool to collect. But I don't know. Hey, Peaches, how are you? So I don't. I put a couple in there in the living room, so I could count some of them in here. Some of them's not open. Here's one of them, Black Panther. And then I got like my my special ones, like Carson Wentz, my Eagles pop, Sean McCoy's over there. I put Nick. I put a. I put my uh, Napoleon Dynamite pop figure over there because he. Uh, that's what they call Nick Foles. And I got a Joel Embiid for the Sixers. And then I got the Philly Fanatic mascot. Yeah, they are expensive, Zach Garrett. And then the ones you want, all of a sudden will get too expensive. And you could pay outrageous prices for it like I did for this guy. We did that for that guy. And then I have some Team Cletus. He ain't a pop figure. But that's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... 8, 9, 10, 11. My Gorilla Grodd, he's pretty awesome. 12, 13. That's the Chewbacca I got from the arcade. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, and that, well, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, that's just a rough count right there. There's 43 that I just saw. And then there's some more in the living room. And so, about 45, 46, 47. So over 50. <laughs> That's sad, ain't it? Over 50, I think. Yeah. What's up, Peaches? How are you doing? <laughs> Lady bass player? How are you doing? LBP. Yeah, but uh, that's about over 50. And then there's more I want. There's a Biggie Pop. 
There's too much stuff. Sore throat. That ain't good, lady bass player. I have a two fake crap going on right here. I have a Donald King Kingdom Hearts uh, pop, and I recently, um, I don't know how y'all are on games. I don't get into much, uh, too much to games, but uh, I have, I have a PS4 because I want it from the arcade. But um, I got Kingdom Hearts. It's like all the ones they made so far, except for the new one next year. I got it all in one, and I'm still on the first game, and I've did, and I think I'm like still not even halfway finished with it. It's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of thinking to do because I'm used to the sports games where it's just, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I want a Michael Jackson pop, but I do want that Biggie pop, but but I ain't got it. I might have skipped some too. I don't know. So a lot of them I got from the arcade though. Let's see, I got the Chewbacca one from the arcade, the BB-8 one from the arcade, and then I got, I got about two Deadpools from the arcade. Yeah. Huh. And then I got uh, a lot of Groots from Gamer Green, and well, Rocket from Gamer Green, and from the arcade, some mini keychains, Deadpool and Harley Quinn from the arcade, the Donald I mentioned. He is in the, uh, he was from, uh, Dave and Buster's. Oh, really? Chloe's on? I took some Motrum and I put some Aura Gel on it. Yeah, I've also heard of people, I tried it once, but I couldn't stand the taste. It was a goodie powder and then you put it on there on the tooth, but that was the most awful taste I've ever had. Yeah, tooth toothaches are the worst. I hate them. They're like, I had them so bad that one time where it was like my whole side of my cheek just hurt. I was putting hot rags, cold rags, uh, Aura Gel, medicine, Tylenol, Motrin, uh, ice pack. I was trying everything. And it, it was, yeah, yeah, that's true BTD, but I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'll do you, Zach Garrett. Zach Garrett's going to get physical. Physical. Yeah. Hopefully it'll go all right. Usually it's good because you go in, you're not, you don't have to sit with the sick ones. It's like you're going in for physical. But anyway, the doctor anyways and the dentist anyways, is, you don't like the, I don't like the guy. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't like the emergency rooms that are worst. Because, like, I can't give blood. I can't. Um, I don't know what it is about me, but they try to get blood from me, and I won't. And they're like, are you a vampire? And I'm like, I guess I am. I don't know. Huh. Yeah, I don't... They, they try to get blood from me. Like, I go to the emergency room, and um, they try to get... They try to get some blood from me, and they can't get it here. And I'm like, they're swimming. Yeah, I've had bad experience emergency room. That's why I don't on purposely give blood. That's why I don't like going to hospital. Olivia Newton John What? <laughs> yeah. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, Peach Peaches are on a roll. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Lady Baseball. It shouldn't, I hope not. <laughs> I'm hoping it gets better. I hope it's just too fake. <laughs> but uh I went to that one doctor and they poked and probably didn't know what they was doing. But, yeah, I can't stand doctors and dentists. I go in there, and uh, I go to get... The first time I went was I was a kid. No, Chris, I knew what she's talking about, Olivia Newton-John. I said, what? Because I thought it was Maury, and I thought he said... I thought... I forgot that I said physical, physical. And I thought Maury was here, and he said Olivia Newton-John. That's what I was thinking. But, no, it was Peaches guessing that the name of who wrote the song. But... Yeah, no, I know Olivia Newton John from Greece. Huh. Yeah, that's true, BTD. Just get some dentures. Huh. Yeah, I went to the time to the doctor and they were like swimming in my arm trying to get blood. Couldn't get it. They pricked my finger like five times in each finger, squeezing it to get blood. I don't give blood easy. And then, uh. Yeah, that's what they say. That's what my grandma's told me about uh, drinking a lot of water. 
but it's still I still go and they they can't find it they can't find the veins and then uh they tried trying both arms and then all of a sudden uh they had to uh I think they finally got it somehow in one arm and they're like we had to use a baby needle for your veins and I'm like you call me a baby no I was like <laughs> I was like, what? Okay, I got baby veins, I guess. It's kind of dumb. <laughs> but yeah, they was like, we used a baby needle and it worked. I was like, well, good for you. Use it every time so you don't have to hurt me before. <laughs> but then they, uh, yeah, the dentist, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I use, plus I'm not one to say like I'm hurting. Like I won't say it hurts. But that like dentist, I remember being in there and they gave me shots and they're like, they were wanting to see if it numbed. So they're like, let me know if this hurts. And I was just like, it was hurting bad, but I was just like, man, it didn't hurt at all. <laughs> yeah, 18 shots. That's crazy. Not normal. Usually shots, like shots, a flu shot, I'm usually fine with. But when it comes to me flipping my arm over and then getting a needle there, trying to get blood, I don't like it because they can't find it. And then they mentioned some about a busted vein. I don't like any of that to deal with that blood and all that. Trying to get my blood. And they're like, you must be a vampire. I was like, must be. Amber Ann's famous. She only gets um, her teeth done by people off the bachelorette. Bachelor, Bachelor, Russian, Russian Roulette. That's what it is. That's the show. Huh. But yeah, they, um, when I, last time I went in there, they were like, this woman came in named Helga, and she was like, I think her name was Helga. I called her that. She looked like a Helga. And she was like, she said, I'm going to get your blood if you don't want me to or not. And I'm like, okay. And so she tried, couldn't get it, and I was like, well, I won round one. And then, I wasn't winning, actually. I was hurting. And then she ended up getting it from, like... She ended up putting it down here, and I thought that was, like, illegal. That'd kill you or something if you got it right there. But she got it from, like, my wrist, and I was like... That was worse than the butterfly right here. Hmm. But yeah, that sucked. <laughs> the butterfly sucked, but they put it in my wrist, and that hurt. And if they didn't get it there, they was going to put it in my foot, like they do the, the babies and stuff. Yeah, so... Yeah, and then they, they get the blood work back, and they're like, all right, we figured out why your stomach's hurting you. It's gas. And I'm like, okay. And they're like, here's your bill. I'm like, I just got poked and prodded, and you tell me it's gas. <laughs> wow. I could have told you that. Huh. That's funny. You yeah, can't tell you it's gas. That's dumb. <laughs> Oh, did he, lady bass player? What did he What did he request prayer for? All right, see you, BTD. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, see you next live stream. Oh, really, name brand? All right, see you, Chloe's mom. Yeah, six a.m. does come early. That's why I've been working not. <laughs> yeah, good night, BTD and Rhonda. Yeah, LBP, what did he what did he come and request? He requested prayer. Did he ask he asked for prayers? Did he tell you why or he just said ask for prayers? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, Chris. <laughs> That's <laughs> Yeah, when was named we got it's been a while for name that tune. Did you peaches? What 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 kind of scare? I thought I thought Chris. I was like Chris is robbing old people. Like he he meant to say to bed, but he said, um, to he said it to rob them. Huh? Yeah, lady bass player. Did he give a name or anything? If not, I mean you still can pray for him. I mean I was just wondering. I usually see if they had a name or what their request was, but uh. But yeah, I'll pray, even if you don't have a name, I, I'll keep in my prayers. I need to, I have a certain prayer journal that I've been, I need to take to church, but I have it. Virgil, oh, okay. 
I need to make one. Like I can use this right now, but I easily. Let's see. And do you have it? Was it a special or not? I can I can write it down. But yeah, I try to like when you say you're gonna pray for somebody, you know, try to you know do it because uh, prayer works. Um, but uh, cause like I don't mean every of us is. Let's see. Oh, really? Peaches gave him a ride. Yeah, that's good. Pray for. Him. I'll pray for him too. Uh, but, um, yeah, all of us is capable of like. Uh, we sometimes we say we'll pray, and then like I'm I'm bad. Like for you say you'll pray, and then all of a sudden you know it slips your mind or something, and things come up. But uh, you know I, that's why a list is always better for me to unkeep up names. So, but yeah, I will definitely. Oh really? That might be acid, like I was talking about earlier. Um, how the acid eroded my tooth, because that's how it felt when I it was like coming up and burned. Uh, but yeah, I'll keep. I'll say hell. But yeah, yeah, I'll keep him on my prayers. Um, Yeah, it does help to make a note. But yeah, I'll definitely keep in my prayers. Uh, and I, if any of y'all ever have requests of prayer requests or that you want help praying with, you know, you can uh, let us know. You know, let the whole group know. Let me know so we can keep you in prayers because uh, a bunch of prayers lifted up is uh, it's uh, good to have a bunch of prayers lifted up for a request. You want the broom hanging back there? Oh, the group, <laughs> the groom hanging. Oh, I was, I was about to say. I thought it said broom, and then I thought it said groom, and I was like, "What?" Uh, the group. Yeah, he's pretty awesome, ain't he? I have like, I might put one of him in a giveaway. I thought I had another one, or he might be original. I want him from the arcade. So, most of the plush you see me have is from the arcade. Yeah, peaches. That's why I'd be. It's good to like help and give people a ride, but then also. Um, I mean, sometimes also, like, that can be, like, it's kind of scary, I guess. All right, yeah, and, and and thanks for saying that, Amber, because, uh, like, it don't have to be, like, uh, elaborate. Um, you don't, like, if it's a special or anything and you don't want to elaborate on it, and then just, yeah, then let us know because, uh, because God knows, you know. But yeah, I, the last time, uh, Amber, when your uh, back was, uh, when you was down in your back and hurting, uh, I requested prayer for you at church, um, and uh, for others to keep you in prayer too. I said, you know, somebody on YouTube uh, that I correspond with on my YouTube, you know, they, uh, you know, they were down in their back and uh, they need some prayers, and uh, so, and they they all prayed for you in my Sunday school class. So, yeah. Yeah, so just, yeah, let us know, and we'll, uh, you know, try to keep, sorry, that's my hand, I'm trying to plug up the phone, just in case, there we go, but yeah, just let us know, and we'll, we'll keep a prayer list of people, I got my little graduating pen I was using, he's a little graduating dude, I think he is the graduating dude, or maybe he just has an afro, I'm from NC, so that's the Carolina Bear, I won him somewhere. I want him at Dave and Buster's. Um, so and but I'm a big fan of the Eagles. So I love Philadelphia teams, but I'm in I'm in North Carolina. But uh, I like that. I like all the Philadelphia teams because we don't have a baseball team around here. So most of them's Braves fan. The Braves are all right, but I played on the baseball team as the Phillies. So excuse me, sorry, North Carolina. No. <laughs> yeah, North North Carolina, North Carolinian. Um, but we, I grew up playing on the baseball team of the Phillies, and then uh, I played as them on my MLB game. So I was a Phillies fan. Then I watched the Eagles game. I become a Philadelphia Eagles fan, and uh, so I just like all the Philadelphia teams. Uh, Carolina teams are all right. Um, 
I like. I mean, I, I'll cheer for them. You know, if they face the Eagles or the Philadelphia teams, that's where it kind of contradicts. But uh, but I'm a big Eagles fan. I'm die-hard Eagles fan. Yes, they need to win. Do they play? Oh, when do they play? Do they play Saturday? Oh man, do the Eagles play or is it Sunday? Oh, it's Sunday. I don't think it's Saturday. They've had some Saturday playing, not the Eagles, but some other teams. Yeah, the Eagles need to win Sunday, and the Bears need to win. And that's our only way in the playoffs. Because, like, we... If you see if you see my videos, like, I have nothing... To, I don't... I have nothing against Cowboy fans, like, as people, because I don't... I mean, I don't hate people. I mean, some people are hard to love but i don't hate people but i don't hate uh cowboy fans but i hate um sometimes i hate how they act but i don't hate cowboys fans um but i i don't like how uh it seems biased um of the refs i don't i don't like how it seems biased when they played because i feel like we had that win locked up and then luck at the end uh kind of just it was like a fluke win, and then they got the division. So I don't really feel they deserve it, but, I mean, maybe that's a biased opinion from an Eagles fan. But it is a biased opinion. I don't – but that's just – that's me. Um, but, yeah, yeah, the Eagles beat – oh, I have I have a whole video on it, lady bass player, of the Eagles. Well, I have – I think I had one on Facebook too. But uh, I have the Eagles video of – pictures and of where my like I don't know if I had my reaction but I had a it was a Eagles video because I won tickets me and my mom to see the Panthers and Eagles play because they you sometimes never come over here and the last time they did come to play over here um I didn't get to see him but some other people did and we didn't have the money to go last year but uh God let us win uh, tickets to go see him in good seats better than we would have got buying it even if we had the money and then that was the same year and we got to go on field we had field passes i got close-ups to see my favorite players ever and that's the year they won the super bowl so i have no doubt that god worked it out and that's what i say in my eagles video uh where i got to see them so i got to see the eagles play the year they won the super bowl so yeah last year that's that's the reason I broke down tears in that one video because like that was just crazy because seeing it all come together, seeing how God can work in somebody's life is just amazing beyond sports, and uh, seeing the books behind it, you know, it was a great Christian group, Nick Foles and Carson Wentz and all of them, you know, well, not all of them but most of them, you know, they was getting players baptized, a good group of guys, they uh, own devotionals, I got some books of them, hmm. yeah, a lot of people like the Patriots. The big, big name teams, I guess. Now, uh, all of a sudden, that the Cowboys are winning, I see a lot of people throwing on cowboy jerseys and cowboy hats, and I never see them any other time. But, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Carson Wentz does. He uh, he holds a Bible study. Nick Foles even said that after he retires football, he may become a pastor. Um, and he's a good guy. And then uh, there's some other ones on there that uh that are I, I can't remember there was ones getting baptized in the hotel i think that was actually it was really awesome because right before the carolina panthers game that i got to see um that i told you that I, god worked it out where i got to go see him that was like the same that was the same time they baptized some players before that game oh what up guys my tripod held up for some time and then it, it fell off huh all right peaches Glad you got to stay on for some. I'm going to try to fix this tripod. Huh. Yeah, big cowboy fan. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I'm trying to fix this tripod and talk. Yeah, my tripod's messed up. Yeah, Peaches. Peaches going, Peaches ain't going to bed. She's going to study some music. She's going to study some music names and listen to it. She's a music prodigy genius. I'm no one. But yeah, let's see if we can get this to hold up. Will that stay? That might stay. It might stay for somewhat. I don't know how long it'll stay, but it'll. It might be crooked. I might have to tilt this way. 
But yeah, I got the Eagles Man Cave thing and then the Man Cave thing. I won this from an arcade. Most of the stuff I have is from the arcade. I have uh, my PS4, like even my big, my big electronic stuff's like all from the arcade. My GoPro is from the arcade. I won with tickets. My PlayStation 4 is from the arcade. I got with tickets. And then a lot of plush and pop figures you see is with arcade tickets. Which L lady bass player, which pop figure? This is a pop figure. And then this is a pop figure. And I have tons more <laughs> everywhere else. I have a Carson Wentz one. I have a LaShawn McCoy one. Here's actually a picture from when I got to see the game. Huh. So the lights was in my eye. I, I, it was a bad picture of me, but it, I was on the field. There's me. I had my Eagle shirt on. <clears throat> Being a contradiction. Huh. I, I contemplated that the whole game. I was like, should I wear my Eagles uh, since I'm in a Carolina Panthers stadium and I'm from Carolina? And I was like, you know what? I'm a diehard Eagles fan. And I it just like, when I got to stadium, I said, Tch. and there was no hiding it. I was like, when the Eagles scored, I was like, go, 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 go. <laughs> Reggie Watt is awesome, man. I'm not old enough to, I'm not old enough to witness him play, but I'm a big enough Eagles fan to have, like, looked at the players that used to play. But Reggie Watt, I think it was a defensive end, and he, and also, I love Tennessee. Um, a lot of y'all from Tennessee. Um, and I like the volunteers because I grew up going to Tennessee is like my second home. We have part of our family from Tennessee. So I also like Tennessee teams, but mostly just the college team. But Reggie Watt was a beast and he played for the Eagles and he also was from Tennessee volunteers. So that's pretty awesome. Oh, really, Chris? That's awesome. Oh, man, I would have loved to have been there. Yeah, Reggie Watt and like, and then I wish like I... I wish I've seen him and like I've watched videos of like the older players and stuff like Randall Cunningham. Man, that's awesome, Chris. You got to see that. That's awesome. I I would I'd kill to have that. Be awesome, man. That's that's pretty sick. Uh, Randall Cunningham, like watching the Fresh Prince and Fresh Prince had a Cunningham jersey on. Like I'd love to see him. Like he got tr got tackled on his legs and he still stayed up. Like, but. I'm I'm glad to be an Eagles fan in this time though, and seeing the players I witnessed. Cause growing up, I've always been an Eagles fan. Um, growing up, I got to witness. I witnessed Kevin Cole was quarterback, but Mike Vick came in, and Mike Vick was a beast. He was my favorite. I had a jersey of Mike Vick. I always wore my Mike Vick jersey. Michael Vick was a beast. I loved I love watching Michael Vick and Lashawn McCoy and Deshaun Jackson, and I got to see them play. So I got to see those years, uh, and I can't believe they didn't win. A, like, how good those teams were, I can't believe they didn't win a Super Bowl. But I'm just glad, I mean, I got to see, you know, this bunch of Carson Wentz, Nick Foles, Zach Ertz, uh, Nelson Aguilar. I call him Nelson Aggagoat. Glad I got to see all them, you know, win a Super Bowl. Nelson, I mean, uh, Alshon Jeffrey, Trey Burton when he was there, Brent Selleck. I can I can name all kinds of Eagles fans. I mean Eagles Eagles fans. Uh Eagles players. Alright, Amber, thanks for tuning in. Huh. It's awesome. Good night. Have a good night, Amber. And I will definitely keep uh your mother in prayer. I'll keep her in prayer. Yeah, keep us posted. Yeah, that too, like so if you have a answered prayer or things change, uh, then just keep us posted. But uh, definitely, that's awesome. You know, that's the that's the best part. You know, like YouTube's awesome with videos, but you know, keeping uh keeping people in prayers. You know, and uh, uh you know, helping people. That's the that's the best thing. You know, uh, it goes beyond. You know. It's awesome to build a community, a family that cares enough to, you know, that'll pray for you and that'll care, you know. So, yeah, that's what I, that's what I want to happen, you know. I want that, that's to be about that, you know. 
that's why I like I read the Christmas story the other day, uh, you know, because I want I want I want to help people. That's why when I first made my channel, you know, I did music, and uh, of course when you do music, uh, you're gonna have some thoughts in you that's selfish. That hey, I want I want this to get noticed. I want people to like the song. Even if you do YouTube, you're gonna like I want I want people to like this YouTube video. But you know that's not what it's all. It's not all about that. You know you want you want to do quality content that people like. But you shouldn't focus solely on, oh, are they gonna like it or not? You know, you should focus on, you know, is this gonna, is this gonna help them? Is people gonna get something out of this? You know, because uh, that's what my main focus is coming in. And I hope people, I hope people like it, but I, I hope people get get something out of it. That's how I did my music. Is I would, if just one person, you know, would hear it and be touched by it, and then mission accomplished. And if you do want music, um, I don't know if the Harveys are still on here. Um, they mentioned something about wanting a CD. Um, just message me addresses and stuff like that, and uh, I'll I'll get it to you if you want any of my music. Um, and I, it's not it's not a cost. It don't cost, but um, it's free. But it's uh, donations. Um, donations are welcome if you want to, but only if you feel led to. Like, oh, I'm going to give to him because this helped me and I want to support where he can make more CDs. And uh, because, you know, microphones cost and stuff to do that. And then CD cases cost and CDs cost. But I'm giving them out for free. That's what I did in high school. I give out music for free because um, for second of all, I'm going to go backwards. Usually you say, first of all. Second of all, uh, some of the stuff, a lot of my stuff uh, has beats off YouTube and I remix stuff because it's hip hop and uh, you know, I'm not stealing stuff because I'm not selling it and saying that the beat's mine. I'll openly say like a lot of the beats aren't mine. I'll remix some of them. Some of them I might make, but um, all the lyrics, all the uh, harmonies and singing is mine unless I do like a cover or like a remix or something. Huh. But uh, but yeah, what was I saying? And then first of all, because uh, I want people to not have to pay to receive good news. I want if I have good news to share through talking or through music, I don't want people to have to pay for it. So that's my whole deal. All right, Zach. Good night. I hope your physical goes good tomorrow. Um, yeah, keep Zach in your prayers too. Uh, he's got a physical tomorrow. Going to the doctor. That can, always can be scary. And then, uh, lady bass player, you said, uh, you said something about, what did you say? You sore throat? But, uh, yeah, and then my tooth's killing me. But, you know, any request ain't too, ain't too small. Like, some of the kids, you know, some people say, well, I know it's not, this ain't big, but can you pray for this? But, you know, God cares for all requests, you know. I mean, so no request ain't to, like, if you're feeling bad for a day, you know, let, let God know. <laughs> yeah, my toothache, yeah. But if, you know, if you're, uh, if you're just sad, you know, and you think, well, uh, that's not worth praying for, let God know, you know. And uh, let others know. I, I personally keep all my feelings inside. I'll tell God, and then I, I tell people, I'll tell God my problems, and then I'll tell the microphone. But, you know, it's not good to keep it. I'm one to talk because I keep it all bottled up. But, you know, you're not supposed to keep it bottled up. You know, let other people know, you know, so they can share the burdens. You know, it's, that's biblical, you know. You know, to where let other people, you know, share the weight of your problems through prayer, you know, but, uh, but yeah, if you ever got, you know, just feeling sad, let God know, because, you know, he hears you, he cares, but, uh, but yeah, but yeah, any request, and nothing, nothing's too small for him, and nothing's too big for him, but, uh, I'm using my KJV life, app. I think I showed y'all when I was reading my life application Bible, but, uh, I want to I want to do some book reviews on my channel of different books like 
I used to raid a lot and I'm trying to get more into reading because uh, it's hard and I understand like a lot of people say, I can't read and I was like you can read you just don't want to read but that's how I am a lot of times you know I can read but I don't want to a lot of times but when I start reading I can't put down a book sometimes I finish a book in a day like I was I was bad for doing that I we have summer reading books in school and they say Josh you have to read these two books big books over summer and uh I'd wait till the day before we had the test for the book, and then I would read the whole book. I wouldn't spark notes it. I would spark note some stuff, but I did. Uh, I would just read the whole book in the night before the test, because I, I just read stuff like in a whole day. That's all the time I'd lie myself. So. Uh, lady bass player. I use a. I prefer a KJV, whereas uh because my church uses most my, whenever you go to a church um, whatever the pastor uses uh, I'm not saying use whatever your pastor uses but whenever you're following along with somebody in the Bible and they're using the same translation as you it's easier um, but I like KJV because uh, that's I mean I grew up reading that and it just there's not omitted verses but so I like reading them all and other versions are different for me because I understand the cage. Not I'm not saying I understand all of it, but I understand most like a lot of what it's saying. Even, but I like to look into it. Even if I a lot of it I might not understand, so I like to look into it. Um, and but I also have other translations, so I use all kinds. Um, that's what I'm getting to where I have. I have a bunch of different Bibles, Lady Bass Player, and I have a ESV. Um, English Standard Version. I, it's a men's devotional Bible. I have that one that I I use. I used it this morning and yesterday. And then I have my Life Application KJV that I bought at Lifeway. Uh, if y'all have Lifeways near you, they're awesome. The what? The Wonder Bible. What translation is it? I I see. I like all kinds of different ones. Um, but the life application one helps a lot because it has a lot of content in it of uh, commentators and stuff and it's KJV and then I had a rainbow Bible uh, where it's all highlighted in different code like if it was a verse about sin it was a black it was black um, so I have that and then I also have a one I got for graduation from my aunt and uncle oh it reads it to you oh yeah I've heard of that the audio one yeah, I know what you're talking about. And that helps a lot. A lot of people, it so it reads to you. That's why I kind of like, I want to get, um, for some people I want to get them an audio Bible because it would help them more. Um, but I also, I like, I like the audio is cool, but I also would like to have a handheld and read it sometimes on my own. But like, I also like audio. So if I can have like both of them, that's awesome. Having the audio playing to me and read it at the same time, that's pretty cool. Um, I also have a, but the one I got from graduation, um, now they made a KJV version of it, and that's my preferred one. But I've read, this one's a new one. It's a CSB, Christian Stand, Christian Stand? No, I don't know. I think it's that. It's the CSB though. And it's the Spurgeon, CSB Spurgeon Bible. <laughs> yeah, the Bible tapes are cool. I don't have, I use sometimes on my phone, but I don't have a, like, dedicated the tapes and stuff like that. But that's pretty awesome. I've heard of that. And then there's also one I'm looking at getting, and then I want to go tomorrow if it's not raining terribly before I have to go to work. Um... And I would like to see what other Bibles like and look at them because there's all kinds I like. Of course, like a bunch of Bibles won't do you good if you don't read them, but I like to read. I've been reading a chapter of the Old Testament in the morning and a chapter of the New Testament at night, but then I've kind of differ differentiated it sometimes because, you know, I, I flew through the New Testament and doing one chapters because it's, it's shorter and then like reading the Old Testament so I've kind of had to slow myself down so I could get Old Testament read so it's not like I get the New Testament done and still reading the Old Testament <laughs> yeah that's that's the best thing like my grandma like 
she's uh, her eyes are like they're not terrible but like her she likes for focusing and stuff on a text an audio bible would help her so she listens to them on youtube so i feel like that would help oh yeah karen wow yeah passed down bibles are great too uh bibles gave to you and that's that's like one of the best ones ones you can look for and get it's awesome too but then ones that are like people write your name on it and they like give it to you or pass it down that's awesome too but uh yeah oh man i'd I would, i'd love to do reviews on them too like uh or just showing you like the different ones i don't have any of them in here but yeah we got a bunch different ones but one has my name on it because they still do that at lifeway they engrave your name on the leather and uh i'd, I'd like to get it on my other one so it'd be pretty awesome <laughs> per the personalized you know i guess it gives it like don't give it more meaning but i guess it gives you like i guess a sense of like hey my name's on that you know <laughs> I got a Bible case I got from the arcade, Fanny Farkley's, but, wow, 1800s? Is it large, Karen? That's awesome. Yeah, large ones are cool, too. I've seen, like, the people that has the dinner rooms to where it's, like, and they have a Bible just laying up there. It's, like, huge. Huh. I like the handheld ones, though, like, if I'm going to just be sitting on the couch and, like, reading. <laughs> I'm thinking about maybe... I don't know. I might get rid of some stuff in here and move around and try to create a little bookshelf to keep books and my Bibles. Uh, if it keeps growing, my collection. I'm not, I guess collection is a word for it, but I still use them. It's not like I'm just sitting them up for decoration. <laughs> but there's some ones I want to look at. And, but yeah, I try to read. All, there's a lot of them different devotionals, so there's all kinds of neat stuff packed into them. Uh... Oh, yeah, Lady Baseball, that's awesome. But, yeah, there's a lot of stuff packed, like, uh, into some of them. That's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome, guys. Yeah. Speaking of my Bible with my shirt here, Chris, I don't, I don't know if you can read it. It might be backwards, but it says, Your word is a lamp into my feet. Psalms, I think it says not. Like, it's faded out, though. And then sometimes the shirts at Roses gets like the verses wrong and stuff. <laughs> but, wow, that's crazy. That's awesome though. But yeah, that's what my shirt says. No words, the length of my feet. So it's cool we're talking about that. Huh. It's huge, like, the yeah, like some of them's like real big. That'd be awesome. Yeah, this one's an older one. It's a smaller one, but like... I've had it for a while. A lot of those shirts will fit. I got all used to get a lot of the Christian saying ones. But uh I had different kinds. Hey, what's up, Super Truden? You're from Germany. Wow, that's awesome. You're from Germany? I, I'm we're in I'm in North Carolina, so that's a pretty good distance. <laughs> well thanks for tuning in. Mm -hmm. All right, you gonna plug in your phone, Karen? Yeah, I got a little shirt rack over there. I need a better closet to keep my shirts and stuff. Huh. But yeah, I like shirts. Like, I'm with you, Chris. I like shirts. Different, uh, cause shirts will say something, you know, about you. That's why I was like showing you my one I got for my channel, cause customizing a shirt, cause shirts will say something about you, you know. I like, I mean, I like plain flannels and dress shirts, but I also like my graphic t-shirts, like, that says, hey, I'm an Eagles fan, or hey, I'm a Phillies fan, or look, I got a Donald shirt because my middle name's Donald, <laughs> you know, like, or I'm wearing this because I like this music group, you know, or I'm wearing this because, like, hey, I have a, I have a passion for, uh, Christ, so you're wearing the shirt, you know. So it's kind of like a billboard on you. So, yeah, that's why I agree with you, Chris, how, you know, liking T-shirts. Because, uh, you know, the T-shirt is what people see, you know. 
they look at you, but then they look at what you're wearing, and it says something about you, you know? When I'm wearing my Chick-fil-A shirt at work, that means I work for Chick-fil-A. But when I wear a shirt that says, uh, yeah, but when you have, like, a, a shirt that says John 316, you know, it says something like, you know, and maybe not for sure, maybe it's not, if just because you wear a shirt don't mean you're saved, but it can tell other people, hey, you know, that's what they're about. But, I mean, if you're just wearing it to wear it, then, you know, that's what, when people say, like, I've seen, like, some girls, they wearing, like, some Pink Floyd shirts or something, and I, I don't listen to Pink Floyd much, uh, they, but they were wearing it, and I was like, I said, so y'all big Pink Floyd fans? And they said, no, I never really listened to them, maybe once or twice. But they was wearing the shirt, and I was like, well, if you're wearing the shirt, you know, that makes me think, you know, that's what you're about, you know? And, uh, which I understand, like, wearing shirts that they are not your favorite band, but when they say, like, oh, I've never heard of them, or I only listened to them once or something, you know, I don't, why are you wearing it? I mean, shirt's a shirt, you know, but sometimes, so if you're wearing a shirt, I mean, that's fine, I ain't judging, but, like, if you, but if it's you just wearing it to be hip and cool, and it don't mean nothing to you, and then it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> but, uh, like, if you wear an Eagles shirt, and I say, man, you're an Eagles fan, and you're like, well, not really. And I'm like, why are you wearing that shirt, then? <laughs> yeah, Chris. Oh, I, any topic, I've mentioned it in my lyrics and rapping, like, any topic I'll, like, I'll talk about. I, I've said it in a rap song before. I said, any top, pick a topic, and I'll topic. You know, that's why I'm, even if it's, a, I said, pick a topic and I'll top it, even if it's just a topic that is topic. And that, that was a little rhyme for y'all. I might, I might need to slow it down. But, uh, sometimes I gotta explain my rhymes and the words I say. I speak, I either speak too simple or I speak too, uh, fancy. <laughs> but, yeah. That's that was, but yeah, that's what I'm saying about shirts, you know. Like I got a Bon Jovi shirt, and he's not my favorite, but I still, you know, I, I listen to songs and stuff. But it's not like I've never heard of Bon Jovi, you know. I mean, I wear it because it's cool, and you know, I listen to some songs of his, and he's he's pretty cool, you know. I listen to it, but like if I never heard of Bon Jovi and I put that shirt on, you know, I wouldn't feel right because, you know, what if Bon Jovi's message in his songs was like. What if his was heavy metal screamo? Like, I don't have nothing against heavy metal screamo, but what if it was just, like, heavy metal screamo talking about, like, I beat my kids every day. Like, what? <laughs> that was probably... That was intense. <laughs> that was kind of weird. But, then you know, like, what if it was that? Why would you wear a band that you don't even know what their music's about? You know? <laughs> but, yeah, that might have been too, like, <laughs> demon voice. That was weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That was pretty funny. I'm going to show the Mickey hat, but hats are cool too, you know. Chris's second channel is going to be Chris about um hats. Do you wear hats, Chris? I wear hats all the time, but my mom got that for two bucks. She got that. That's a crazy deal. That's pretty awesome. I love flat top bills. I haven't worn them in a while because I've been wearing my curved bill. And then I also got an Eagles camouflage one. I like New Air and stuff. But, I mean, I, I, have, I grew up, I have a bunch of, I got a hat rack kind of rigged up with a clothes hanger. And uh, it's got, like, all kinds of hats. But, yeah, I want to correct Josh about hats. I got so many hats, you know. And the hats are the same way as shirts, you know. Like, why would you wear a hat? I mean, some people wear them, like, because it's cool. I wore uh, the flyers. I don't watch them much, but if I... If I watch hockey or if I support hockey, it would be the Flyers. And also because the Goldbergs, he wears that. Does your nephew listen to that lady bass player? Like, does he listen to Screamo or is it, like, actually, like, music that's, like, about, like, violence? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, there's all kinds of genres. Um, like, I don't. There's genres I don't listen to, but I don't I don't have nothing against genres, in general. But I have 
I have something against different song types, like what they talk about. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> Do -do -do -do. Yeah, I got I got oh YouTube's crazy. Yeah, the Goldbergs is funny. Um YouTube's crazy though, especially like Lady Bass Player, go on to a YouTube video of like uh go on it about some kind of music. I don't care like any kind of music you go on there. And then you mentioned something about that genre saying, hey, I didn't really vibe with this kind of genre. And then you're going to have like these music snobs that come up to you and like, well, technically this and this. And they try to like always be right. And that's a pretty much any argument. But you'll have people that do that. I've, I've experienced it because I told somebody it was on a skillet video probably. And I said, I'm not really much for skillet. Or something like that. Or, no, it was a red. I said, I'm not big on red or something. Because I was at a concert. And I said, because they kind of, I didn't like, I don't like that screamo type of music. And somebody went at me and was like, well, technically it's this kind of music and this kind of music. And you're stupid. And, and I'm like, okay, this is. <laughs> but, yeah. You know, everybody has their own taste in music. You know, and, like, and people's going to be open to describing, like, their distaste for other music <laughs> but I'll, I'll pick with people i have people like i'm related to and friends that they're all about skillet and i'll be like eh, they're overrated and they're like what <laughs> i do it just to take them off they're like, what skillet not overrated skillet and that's what we joke around with them. <laughs> but yeah we joke around, like, and then I'll say I like hip-hop, and they're like, oh, man, that hip-hop sucks of the Christian rap and stuff. You don't know who Skillet is, Chris? I'm like, really, you don't know who Skillet is? They're big in the Christian. Oh, they're considered rock, but then they're not. They used to be real, like, not hard, but they used to be, like, decent, hard top rock, not hard, hard, but now they're not that hard. They they never was hard hard <laughs> rock, but now they're not as hard as they used to. Be, if that makes any sense, but people like I guess because it's Christian, that's like their best hard rock band they can get. So they're like, oh man, they're so hard rock, man. They're so, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> Skillet basically is a pan, Chris. You use in the kitchen. And you just sizzle stuff in it. That's what I think a skillet is. And then, but then you get all these other ones. Like, I just don't like. I don't like it because uh, at Winter Jam, you know what that is? The concert. Like most every year, it's skillets headline, and I'm like, I want to see different kind of bands that I've never seen before, not the same old ones. Is what I think. <laughs> but then you have people like, what are you talking about? They're legends, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> Yeah, Winter Jam. Yeah, but Skillet's alright. I've, I've listened to some of their songs. Um, so I like some of their songs. But I do that to tick people off. I'll be like, they're overrated. And they're like, no. <laughs> Just to hear people. Huh. But, I mean, they're alright. But, I mean, they're not my favorite. <laughs> but a lot of music, anyways, you they get to where it's like, they're all right, and they'll make a good album, and then all of a sudden they're back to being iffy or normal. So that's how music is. Um, you're not gonna, not everybody's gonna like the same things, and that's how anything's gonna be. <laughs> We've been on. I got records and stuff. I like Genesis, and a lot of people don't like Phil Collins. They think he destroyed Genesis. They uh. They say, we love Peter Gabriel Genesis and Phil Collins destroyed it with all that pop-saturated crap. But they use other words besides crap. <laughs> but uh, And they're like, so Phil Collins is a sellout. He made Genesis a sellout. So that's what they say about Phil Collins. And they all hate his gut. A lot of people do. But I love Phil Collins. <laughs> and I love Genesis when it was led by Phil Collins. Are they, lady bass player? Have you ever seen Casting Crowns in concert? Um, I actually, I got to see them at Faith Fest, it's in North Carolina, and, uh, that's one of the best concerts I've ever been to, is Casting Crowns. Um, man, they were awesome, because, like, every song, like, 
you can't you like that's one of the best Christmas Christmas bands, yeah. That's one of the best Christian bands, if not the best Christian band there is. Huh. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're awesome. I went to Faith Fest to see them, and uh, we got to see other people there, but the main deal was Casting Crowns. I said if it was just Casting Crowns, I'd go to it, because we didn't have to pay that much. And, uh, I mean, Casting Crowns, like, every song they sang was the one we knew. It was like a hit. And then even the one they said, hey, this is a new song, and we're going to sing it for y'all, it was a hit. It was like, and it's the one, Only Jesus, off their new album. So, like... I have that album too, but uh, yeah, Casting Crowns is like they're on that top of Christian music, like contemporary wise, and that they've been there for a while, you know. Yeah, that's awesome. The Pigeon Forge, I'd love to see a concert up there. I've heard of it because that one year Andy Minio was there and Holly Ann was there. I enjoy her stuff. I never got into a lot of female Christian singers, but Holly Ann or Holland. I call her Holland. My mom calls her Holly Ann. But she's going to be at Winter Jam this year. So I'd like to see her. That'd be awesome to see her. But yeah, Casting Crowns, if you ever get to see them, they're awesome. Like, they're they're great. I got to see Newsboys a couple times. I think they're going to be at Winter Jam too. I think it's going to be all of them, past members and new members. So it's going to have like Peter Furler, I think. I think that's his name. And then it's going to have, of course, Michael Tate, who used to be a part of DC Talk with Toby Mac. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they're awesome. I, a lot of their later stuff, you know, it was like hymns, and they had a hymn album, and then they had uh, some techno top stuff. But their first album, Born Again, uh, that was, and then their God's Not Dead album, that's of the newer newsboys with newer new new news new newsboys huh, with michael tate um but yeah i love those two albums <laughs> but yeah cast and colonels don't disappoint they uh they're good if you ever get to see them but uh there's all kinds of music i love to listen to third day retired from uh music but they were good mercy me is of course good and then, uh, I mean, Toby Mac, I mean, I mean, he's great. I mean, <laughs> he's Toby Mac. <laughs> but, uh, and then, of course, you get into, like, Christian hip-hop and stuff like that. But then you get into the whole talk of whether they want to be called Christian hip-hop or Christian rap or if they're going to do music like trap. You know, it's all big. It's artists being artists, I guess. <laughs> They'll label their work this or that, and this or that. They want to be complex and complicated. <laughs> but it's really just about the music, <laughs> you know. When it comes to, when it comes down to it, like, is your music, you know, glorifying God, or is it about this, or is it about your struggles, you know. Like, people's going to identify the artist by their music. <laughs> So no matter how much you say I'm a country, like I could say I'm a country artist till I'm blue in the face, but if I made hip hop songs and kept putting them out, then I'm gonna be labeled as a rapper. <laughs> so the music's gonna speak. <laughs> but yeah, I could talk about all kinds of stuff. It might be, it's probably boring to y'all. This is probably a boring live stream. <laughs> Hope it's not boring for y'all. I guess YouTubers always fear that too. Like, that's why I just mentioned to y'all. Are they going to like it? Or am I too boring? Or So that's always going to be. Huh. Um, we talk about all kinds of stuff. Or jail, music, uh, Bibles. Huh. Yeah, but I like the ones where we all talk about different stuff. Get you talking, you know? Like, because the live streams, like, where you have, like, where people's watching, but then it's like, you're not talking about anything and that's like you don't want to disconnect from the audience you want to talk to them about like like how's your day going you know like include them <laughs> so i guess that's why it's more uh i guess uh was it well i was trying to look for a word it's more uh 
one on one, not one on one, but it's more uh well, instead of it being like a hundred people where I can't see everybody's comments, it's more uh I can't even think of the word. <laughs> hmm. More relationships build, I guess. More like talking to people and so I, I like the smaller live streams, but I mean if I hit big on you to have a bunch of people watching, I'm not going to complain about that either. But I'm going to have to have like two phones looking at all the comments because I'd want to answer everybody. <laughs> but the smaller chats are nice because it's more direct. But uh, I ain't had like... Are you? A watch not? A service? That's cool. A watch not a service. Yeah, but I, I do. But oh, I was about to say two things at once. Have you ever done that? I say I. Have you ever got the pen? I I do this at school. I do this now. But the tabs on the pen where it puts on your shirt and stuff. I don't know why, but that, that's a shirt. But I better not pull it off like I was going to. But for some reason, I always for a pencil and pen, I flipped that off. I played with it until I broke it off. A New Year's Eve church. Oh, that's pretty awesome. A New Year's Eve church service. Usually I get together with my family for New Year's Eve. We play board games and then watch the ball drop. And then we drink uh, We drink out of wine glasses. But we don't drink wine. We drink uh, Welch's grape juice. Like uh, we do at communion. Or we drink like Martinelli's. But uh, doing a New Year's Eve church service, that sounds awesome. I just hope I don't have to, hopefully I don't have to work. Uh, New Year's, New Year's Eve, stuff like that, so I can do what we usually do. But I guess I'll see when I get to schedule. But uh, I worked on Christmas Eve. It wasn't too bad. But uh, it'll be fine if I do. I just, I mean, I love getting together with the family and, you know, chatting, talking, you know, having fun, playing board games and stuff. And just, you know, I like being around people. Like like when you get into a party, or not a party, but I, I mean like a youth party. That's the only parties I've been to or like family parties. And then you get to chat and, you know, make people laugh. You might say something that's not funny, but then you say something that's like funny and people laugh and you're just having a good time. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, New Year's Eve church service would be awesome. Um, I also think it'd be cool to go up to Gatlinburg at New Year's Eve and watch the ball drop at the Space Needle in Gatlinburg. I've always dreamed of doing that. Um, a lot of people dream of going to New York to see the ball drop on Times Square, but my dream is to go to Gatlinburg at New Year's Eve and watch it drop from the Space Needle. Hmm. That, but that'd be awesome. But, uh, and like live stream it or like put it on video or something. But that'd be awesome. I know Plush Time wins video that, that one time. But, uh, oh, I would love doing that. Or go there during Christmas time, something like that. Have a Smoky Mountain Christmas. Huh. But then there's traditions at home that I wouldn't want to abandon anyways either. Though. <laughs> because they're awesome too. Like, because I love hanging out. So it's like a hard situation there. <laughs> I'm in my beanbag chair. I had a tooth. Crazy. Ow, I moved it that way. <laughs> it was fine there for a second. And then it was like, then it started acting up. It's weird. It's off and on, I guess. I guess the more I mess with it, the more it hurts, probably. So the more I leave it alone, the more it's fine. So it's not like out, out, out when I chew, but it's just, I don't know, discomfort, weird pain type feeling. It's weird. Hopefully it'll go away. <laughs> Maybe. But yeah, that's what I had to name my title, or gel. I ain't going to put none on right now, because I get it everywhere, and then my lips are numb and stuff like that, and then you, it tastes nasty. I spit it out and crap. It's disgusting. Gel. It's crazy. But yeah, the gag, I, I talked about bingo traditions. Uh, not bingo, Christmas traditions, and how our family does bingo. Um, and for Christmas, we play bingo, and my mom said, this is the big gift. So, I... Uh, I was like, I'm, I said, I'm winning. You know, we had to fill up the whole card. I seen, I was late, I was behind about four spaces. She said, this is the big gift. This winner takes all. It was about four, three gifts in the pile. And I was like, man, this is going to be money. I'm getting it. So 
I fill it all up and it gets to three spaces left. I get on a roll. My grandma still got one space. My mom says there's one letter left. And I was like, well, that has to be mine. So she called out and I yelled it out before my grandma could get the uh, space filled. And so I got bingo. So I won the grand prize. So I thought. So I opened up the prizes and it's a Sudoku or a word filling book and hemorrhoid cream. Yeah, a gag gift. Literally, I gagged. I was like, this gift sucks. <laughs> yeah, I was. I want a freaking hemorrhoid cream. And I was like, I looked at mom. I was like, you sell the grand gift. She's like, got him. I was like, huh, that sucks. <laughs> She's like, you're going to need that after all this Christmas food. And I'm like, whatever. It's, that's nasty. Stop. <laughs> but looking at the gel made me, yeah, gel for your mouth made me think about gel for your butt. But yeah, she sells the grand prize. I thought I'd won money, and I ended up winning hemorrhoid cream. The gift that keeps on giving. We watched Christmas Vacation earlier today. That's a quote in it. <laughs> One hemorrhoid cream. The gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> the whole year round. <laughs> whole year long. <laughs> Gosh. Hemorrhoid cream. Yeah, vacation's funny. If you you all seen probably my top... 10 Christmas movies and Christmas Vacation was on it. I can't remember exactly. I might have the list somewhere still in here. Yeah, I do. It's right here. Great movie, great cream, great times. That's a that's a quote. <laughs> Senior quote. Uh, yeah, here's my list I had from the... Uh, you go watch it um, if you haven't of my top 10 Christmas movies, but I'll give you a little preview at it. My, I had Vacation at number six. And there's some other movies I gotta watch. I still have yet to, uh, well, I've, I've seen them, but I haven't seen them this year. But, there's some good movies on here. I still gotta watch one, two, three, four or five. There's about five movies on here that I haven't watched before Christmas. I know it's a sin to not watch the Christmas movies before Christmas. <laughs> yeah, but I have about five of them to watch there. But with work and all that, it's busy. And then I have shows, Christmas shows. I have a separate video for it that I did um, where I named out. I don't think I have that list with me. But I had a whole list of Christmas shows. Um, and I have like probably almost all of them except for Rudolph that I've yet to watch this year. Partly because a couple of them we don't have on DVD and I can't get them on YouTube or anything. Like Charlie Brown's Christmas, I don't know if we have it, and Shrek the Halls, I don't think we have it. So That shadow was moving, I think it was me. But I was wondering what it was. Kind of scared me. Alright guys, well, it's getting around 11.20. I better get to bed. This tooth hurting. See if I can sleep it off. <laughs> but uh, it was awesome chatting with y'all. Been on here about an hour and 20 minutes almost. Let me flip this back around so I'll remember. That's the prayer request. I need the whole my journal list. But yeah, um, so I'm going to say bye now. Um, I think my tripod held up pretty decent, I guess for what it is. I'm going to have to get me a new tripod. I keep calling it trifold. What's a trifold? Like a folder? I have no idea. Anyways, uh, good night, lady bass player, Chris about t-shirts. Good night, everybody. Everybody who watched the replay. Oh, there we go. There, the tripod's going to act up real good. I'm going to catch it before it falls. Yeah, trifold's a wallet. Yep, that's it. That's what I was thinking about. Um, yeah. So make sure to keep your tripod not broke and make sure to keep your trifold safely in your pocket because you don't want to lose it. Somebody almost lost their phone today at work. Not a good thing. But uh, yeah, but don't lose anything, especially your brain. You need your brain. And I don't think I have but half a brain, if even that. But anyways, it's been my pleasure hanging out with all y'all. And as always, keep your belt on because the road may get bumpy. And I appreciate all of y'all. Love all y'all. Um, and it's awesome. You know, we'll pray for y'all's request. And, you know, keep y'all in prayers. 
and uh, you do the same for me. And uh, it's been awesome chatting with y'all. So not y'all, not Chris and uh, Lady Bass Player. I believe that's y'all two are the one on here right now. So thanks for everybody watching. It's been awesome hanging out with y'all. So good night, y'all.